Okay, here we have an equal concept uh, question, all right, involving fractions. So how do I know this is equal concept? Number one, uh, that we have identified the main keyword, which is actually equal to. Can you see? So when you ever you have a question that have equal to, and before this equal to, you have a fraction of an item, and then another fraction after the equal to of another item, then straight away, this is the equal concept. So how do we solve equal concept? First of all, your child must be able to identify the fractions in the question and then convert them into units, okay? So in this case, I have 2 third and 3 over 7. So we are going to rewrite. So we have 2 third and 3 7. So, for fractions in its simplest form, which is 2 third and 3 7, both are in the simplest form, it is already known as in its units form. Okay, so this is 2 units and this is 3 units. This is 3 units and this is 7 units. So, for equal concept, you must be able to identify the part and the total. Okay, so you need to know where is the part and where is the total in the units of the fractions okay so the top the numerator is always the part the denominator is the total here is my part and here is my total so this total is referring to the cha kui diao and then the 3 7 is referring to the laksa okay i just use short form there so now we have all this information and then, if you look at the question, we also have 1, 3, 5 more bowls of laksa than char kway teow. We are comparing the total number of laksa and char kway teow. Okay? So, what do we do here? For equal concept, you have to know that the part must be equal. Okay? So, we are going to draw out the equal concept box. So this is how it looks like. Okay, we are going to come uh, cut the table into two parts. So we have the part and we have the total. Then we have the cha kui tiao and then we have the laksa. Then you cut it into two separate rows. Now, cha kui tiao parts. How many parts are there? There are two. So you write down two units. What's the total for Chakwitiao? We look here, there are three units. Now Laksa part is three unit. Laksa total is seven units. Okay. Now as I mentioned to you, the part must be the same, must be equal. So we look at Chakwitiao and Laksa part. Two and three. They have to be equal. Make them the same. How do we make them the same? So you have two times three here and here times. Whatever you do to the box in the row for the first item, the next box in the row for the same item, you have to do the same. So here I times 2, here must also times 2. Here becomes 6 unit, here is also 6 unit. Now you can see that 6 is equal to 6. Chakwitiao sold is equal to laksa sold. Okay, so this is referring to those that are sold. So this will be 9 unit and this will be 14 unit. And if you go back to the question, we are comparing the total number of laksa and the cha kui tiao. So the total, we look at the total number of laksa and cha kui tiao. So if you see, the laksa is more than the cha kui tiao. If you look at the question, the laksa is more than the cha kui tiao. How many more? 1, 3, 5 more. So which means you have to minus them. Okay, so we take 14 unit minus 9 unit equals to... 5 units. And this 5 unit is actually 1, 3, 5. Okay? So, what do we do next from this question? We go and find out your 1 unit. So, 1 unit is 1, 3, 5 divided by 5. And this will give me 27. So, I want to know how many plates of char kui tiaos were sold. So, if I want to know that are sold, Total number that are sold, so you look at. So, you want to know the chakwe tiao sold, you look at chakwe tiao total, so this will be 9 units. So, I go and find 9 units will be 27 times 9, and this will give me 
two, four, three. And that's the answer. So this is an equal concept question that involves fractions. All right.